Hey guys, what's up? It's Megan with Gypsy's Yarn Rack. And today, I've done a couple of these videos. If you see the earrings and it's all the same background and everything like that, I'm trying to film as much as I can outside because it's cooler outside than it is inside right now. Um, I have my usual what's on my hook, off my hook, and waiting to jump back on my hook. <laughs> I'm gonna start with um, whips because yeah, I'm still working on that oh so simple cardigan by Courtney at Fiber Fox Studios. I have everything done except the sleeves and to sew it back up, but I left it inside. And we know how I am when I pause things and then it turns into a two part video. And I've only been talking for 43 seconds. So we're not going to do that. But I am still working on the oh so simple cardigan. And it's a really simple pattern. I just, I am very much ADHD. <laughs> squirrel uh, kind of person. <laughs> so I see things and then um, the lovely crystal at Ricole Crystals, uh, Ricole's Crystal Crochet Corner. I'm butchering the crap out of her name. Crystal, you know you are. She's doing this Halloween Mal 2020. So I was doing stuff for that, um, which I will show you. But let me show you what I'm working on. What is my whip corner right now? Um, I am doing this... Okay, and the funny thing is, guys, okay, this is what happened. I started working on this, and it's a free pattern from Yarn Inspirations. It is their um, Bernat Crochet Convertible Blanket Bag Crochet thing. Right there. It's a free pattern on Yarn Inspirations. Isn't that pretty? Okay, I started doing this in afternoon tea. Karen Big Cake afternoon tea, right? I can't find that back, so you're not going to see what I have done. I used an entire Karen cake, um, and then I started looking for it online. Michael's is sold out. You can't even get it online, or at least when I typed it in, I couldn't get it online. There's no stores. There was one for like 30 bucks on Amazon, and I'm like, they're usually 10 bucks. I'm not paying $30 for one cake. I don't know. No. 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 I am a single mom, guys. $30 on a piece of yarn, I'm not doing it. I can't do it. I can't afford to do it. Around my birthday... I can, you know, kind of justify it because it's my birthday, man, and that would be my gift. <laughs> um, and I can't find what I did with the afternoon tea, so I put it to the side, right? So the other day, I go to Walmart, and I just go check out their yarn because there's, oh, there's my dog. She's topped in the back. Um, I go and check out their yarn just to make myself sad. <laughs> Not really, not to make myself sad, but sometimes they have stuff, right? You guys, they have this yarn there and it was Red Heart Jumbo, Red Heart Super Saber Jumbo Stripes. If you know what a Karen afternoon tea looks like, these are the exact colors, guys, exact colors. But this is their Jumbo Stripes um, yarn. And I got two of these. So, oh, Dad, you wanna say hi? <laughs> He's working on the yard and I'm trying to like film. Anyway, that's okay. So I was like, oh, I thought they only had one. So I grabbed it and I'm like, I'll find the afternoon tea and I can, you know, go on about it with the same thing. Well, they had two. So I grabbed two just on the off chance. So I haven't been able to find the afternoon tea one I've been working on. It's in a project bag somewhere. I know it is because I was working on it. But I've already gone through one. This is the second skein. And this is how it is turning out. And my mom, when she saw it, she goes, you're not giving that away, right? You're not putting that in your shop, right? You're not, that's ours, right? And I'm like, okay, she must really, really like it. So here it is, guys. In its gloriousness. And it's pretty big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because we have a thing here where it's concerts in the park. They didn't do it this year because COVID, right? So I'm going to use this whole entire second skein to make it big. And then I am going to use either black or I think I have a blue that's kind of similar to this dark blue that's in here. And it's all double crochet, guys. And it's a three, after, when you get to, after you finish row 11, it's a three row repeat of nine, 10, and 11. And it's super, super easy to memorize, which means I'm going to be doing a couple of baby blankets like this that are convertible because you know if you take your baby to the park and you want to, you know, them on something soft. Um, and it's, the repeat pattern is you do a V-stitch, which is one chain two, one double crochet. And then the next two rows are two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And then you just kind of work it like a star blanket. So it's super, look at those colors, guys. I'm hoping, and the, the 
yarn is called, I'll tell you a little bit about the yarn since I have it out here. And I will, because I've used a whole skein. Um, I know earlier when I first started my channel, I was doing, I had done a couple of reviews and I haven't done any reviews yet. I have an entire basket of yarn that's left over from projects that I have done where I've used more than one skein um, that I will be doing reviews on. Because um, I'm still new. And I'm going to say this in every video. My one year is 10, 21, 20. Because I only started, I bought my first crochet hook last year on the 21st of October. So I'm super stoked by, about that. But anyway, what is this? Winner America's Recommended Women's Choice Award. Okay, whatever. 215 to 220 to 2020. Okay. Um, I don't mind Red Heart. But after I worked with an entire skein of the afternoon tea, the Karen Big Cakes, this splits when I'm using my Susan Bates hook. And you know me, I love my Susan Bates hooks. And it, it, it'll split on me. It's it's not a horribly bad splitter, but it does split and it drives me nuts. And I keep thinking, okay, I'm going to do a review on this because I love the colors. I've never seen this color before in my life with Red Heart. Um, it is called Sutherland Stripe. Let's see if I can put that up there for you guys. Sutherland Stripe. And I love this. You know, because, yeah, my son broke my ball winder, by the way, so I can't, like wind up anymore so I've just got like these like quarter or an eighth of a skein that's just kind of like it's gonna get all knotted if I don't wind it up so I have to get a ball winder soon um anyway so about this yarn it's a medium four weight it recommends a 5.5 millimeter uh crochet hook or USI 9 12 single crochet by 15 rows should be a 4 by 4 square or 10 by 10 centimeter square uh, it's recommending the 8 US or the 5 millimeter knitting needles. And it's saying 17 um, stitches, I'm guessing, because it just has an S. And I don't knit yet. I said I would wait till my one year. And then I have a whole playlist from um, Granny D, Knit Pearl and Squirrel with Granny D. I love Granny D. I love her. Oh, my God. Every time me and my son are listening to her read um, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, because that's one of my favorites. And I was just like, oh, my son's like... He's like, is she from the story? <laughs> because she's like, because he he's with her twang. He's imagining it with her twang. And he's like, is she in the story? And I'm like, no, baby, she's just reading the story. He's like, oh, okay. Because, you know, you see him. He's big for his age, but he's still mentally a seven-year-old. Well, soon to be eight. Anyway, so it's Southern Stripe, size four. I told you that. It is machine wash and dry, woo -woo, which for a park blanket which is what I'm doing this for. I'm doing this blanket because for the concerts in the park. See? Scenic route, but I come back. <laughs> um, because you can put all your stuff in there. like, And you can even use it at the beach. I'm not a huge beach person. I like bonfires, but I'm not a huge beach person. I like walking by the beach, but I'm not, you know... I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a typical Cali girl. I am not like, oh, let's go to the beach. I'm like, no, let's go hiking. That sounds better to me. Um... But my son loves the beach. He loves the water. He's a, see the pool? That kid has been in swim lessons since he was six months old. I took him to the YMCA for swim lessons because we have a pool. That kid swims like a fish. He dives. He swims like a fish. I'm thinking Mike Phelps. <laughs> hey, he had a single mom too, guys. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm thinking I can throw his toys in there, my book in there, my sunglasses in there, and I just carry the one bag, and then I have something to sit on on the beach. Same thing with concerts in the park. Throw what I'm going to need for the park in there. It's going to work out fabulous. And then it's just like a bag. I'm just carrying the one bag because I am huge on minimalistic things here. Okay. So that is one of my whips. And I actually am carrying it in my 99 cent store. I don't know if the 99 cent store is na national. I think it's national. My 99 cent store, which is not a 99 cent only store anymore. We're selling backpacks. It's my favorite color, guys. One of my favorite colors. Um... And you got coupons in it and you got it for a dollar. So I'm using this as my project bag for this blanket because it fits the blanket. It fits the pattern, which I don't really need the pattern anymore to do the repeat. But I'm going to need it when it's telling me how to do the drawstring and all that kind of good stuff. So it fits everything in here. And then the little pocket in the front is where I hold my hook. And because I was going to talk to you guys about it, here's the other ball band from what I used. And this, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you how much this ball band was. Um, so far, I have used 10 ounces or 283 grams, 482 yards or 440 meters. Okay? And now I'm on the second one. So it's going to be like 964. Did I get that right? 
four and four is eight. Eight and eight is one sixty. Nine sixty. Two and two. I did. Check me out the math, dude. So it fits everything in here beautifully, and then I can just carry it with me to doctor's appointments. Or actually, I my doctor doesn't want me even going to doctor's appointments. He wants to do everything on the phone because of my health issues. Um, so I just leave it in the living room, and it's not yarn everywhere that freaks my dad out. Okay. That's one whip that I've been talking about for 10 minutes. Maybe I'll just do this as a whip video so it's not that long. And then I'll go on to my finished objects. Because my finished objects, I've got a, a few. And there's some that I didn't... I've done a lot of work since the last time I filmed a whips and bits and type thing. Um, but, yeah. I just I haven't been able to film. Anyway, so this... I just got to do the nose and the eyes. But this is that... Um, Amigurumi, the this is this is going to my girl Sandy. I held two strands together because again I wasn't used to fingering white guys um, to do it, and then I just used one strand to do the eyes, and then I've got the little flowers for the top of her hair or her whatever that I'm gonna do on here, and it's going to my girl Sandy in her watermelon box, which she needs to text me. And let me know what she wants, Jack Skellington-wise, for her son. So I can add it to the box. Or, I mean, it's for Christmas, too, so I can send another Christmas box. But let me know what you're looking for. I'm thinking a blanket, or I don't know. I don't, you got to talk to me. Call me. Anyway, <laughs> so this is going in her package that is almost ready to go out. Um, I'm waiting till after my son's birthday to send it. So he's all well taken care of. Now, my last whip that I have out here with me is, it's all, it's basically done, but it's not completely done. Um, Jada at Jada and Stitches, if you guys don't know her channel, actually, I don't know why I'm saying that. Everybody knows who Jada is, right? If not, I'll link her down below if I remember. Um, she has these free stockings on her website, right? Christmas stockings. My son loves the minions. Da -da 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 -da. What? But see how small that is? So it's like kind of like more like an ornament or I can hang it on his door and put little like treats and stuff in it for Christmas. I just have to do the eyes. That's why it's a whip. All I have left to do is the eyes and then a jaunty little Santa Claus hat on the side. If I don't know if I'm going to do that or not because I think I like it just the way it is. But he also likes Spongebob and some other guys. And I think these are really cute. And these would be cute for like crib stockings. You know what I mean? Like a baby, toddler. You know, just something to put on the end of their bed or something. But that's my minion stocking. And I've never done, and you started from the toe up. So it even has a heel, guys. Look at, hold on. Let me put this out here. I'm pretty, I'm pretty chuffed with this one. I don't, I think, I don't know if I didn't. Like, see, it's got a heel. Look at that. Heel and stocking. Anyway, so I was pretty stoked. It looks like a stocking. <laughs> so I just have to do eyes for that one, and it's done. So that's it for the whips. Um, finished object. Last time you guys saw this, he was pretty much done. But now he has arms. What? This is my Oogie Boogie. Look at him. My son wants me to, he was like, cut him open, Mom. Put your phone in there. And then he can sing the song. And I'm like, I am not cutting him. What? He wanted me to cut open. Okay. All my crocheters out there. You know how long this took? Look at his eyes. He's, he's pretty big, too. You know how long he took? And my son wants me to cut him open. No. So, he's just hanging out, singing a song on our mantle over there. So, he's done. Oh, I forgot to bring my bear out. I had done a Chicago bear. Um, I'm going to turn this into two videos, actually, because I'm already at 14 minutes. So, I'm going to show you Oogie Boogie. And then I'm going to show you my other Halloween whips. Or not whips, but completed objects. And then I will do another video with non-Halloween stuff. So... Crystal, Recolay Crochet Corners, having the Halloween mouth 2020. So I did a few Halloween projects, right? So the Halloween projects, I'm like going through my stuff there. Um, my dad's photobombing me. It's cool. <laughs> Sorry. One second, guys. I got to log my son back into class. He logged himself out. One second here. Do, 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 do. That's how I know he logged himself out. There you go. He logged himself out. Oh, it went back again. Uh, you were unable to rejoin this meeting because you were previously removed by the host. You got kicked out by the teacher? Okay. Anyway, sorry about that, guys. Um, 
let me just show you the couple of Halloween things that I've done. I did, and I will link these down below. Crystal at Bag Day Crochet, and I've never done the crocodile stitch. This is my very first time doing this. She had these gloves, and they are the crocodile stitch gloves. And I love these. These are awesome. I totally feel like Daenerys. If you don't know who that is, I, I don't know if I should inform you. But anyway, check them out. These are the Crocodile Stitch Gloves. And I use Mandala and the colorway Warlock, which seemed appropriate. But they're flat on the other side, so they're not as bulky. Isn't that awesome, guys? I love these. These, are, these, uh, these aren't going anywhere. These are my gloves. I'm going to wear these. These are going to, see, look at, they kind of go with the earrings. So there's those. I'm going to do this kind of quickly so I can do the second video and find out what's going on with my son's school because I don't know what's going on with that. I also did from Snappy Tots. You guys saw the start of the scarf. See how long it is? Super scarf, right? Super long. But I finished the faces finally. So here's my zombie face on this side. Look at him. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Let's see if I can get him. And it's like they're wearing top hats. See? He's like, what? That's my zombie face. So I finished him. Ah, love him. And then here's my, my pumpkin face is my favorite face though. Because look at that face. Look, isn't he cute? It's all rolled up because it's been in this pile so I can do a video. Isn't he adorable? So that is the scarf I did from Snappy Tots. Um, she was doing these um, bravery boxes, box, beanies for bravery boxes, right? It was $8 and you got eight of her patterns for free when you bought this box. And they go, they make these beanies and they ship them off to our men overseas and, you know, the military. And I was like, that's a great idea. Absolutely beautiful idea. So, let's see, you just put it through here. I love it. So, I got this. This was, I bought this pattern and the bravery box at the same time because I wanted to, you know, show my support and I needed something for the cat, the mouth. <laughs> okay. So, the third and last thing I'm going to show you for this video because it's just my Halloween ones and then I'll, I'll do another video showing my other finished objects because that way I can show you my bear and I'll bring out the oh so simple cardigan and all that good stuff um this is also a free pattern on Ravelry I will link it down below if I remember but fiber spider fiber 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 bloop, 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 fiber spider um did a free tutorial and this is the lost souls but I'm calling it my Mardi Gras because the colors I use okay this is cat's eye um it's a red heart, and the, there's, the color's called, oh, color's called Catwalk. I remember that. And it looks like Mardi Gras colors, right? Look at those colors, right? But look at it. Does those look like voodoo masks? They look like, I'm talking through the mouth. Ah, ah. <laughs> I'm having moments right now. Um, the voodoo mask, they look like voodoo masks to me. See that? Because of the colors, okay? So I kind of, this is like my Mardi Gras shot, and I'm not, getting rid of this guys it's it's absolutely I like oh, it's so beautiful and warm and the colors are gorgeous and I can actually wear this right now yeah you see all the skulls and they're just it's it's beautiful I love this and it's a super super easy pattern to do it really is you just watch okay the pattern when I downloaded it I watched the video as well because there were certain things I was like wait because when pattern what I've noticed with pattern designers is that they write it with the expectation that you are fluent and patternese. Okay? And I'm not. I'm absolutely not. All of my patterns from um, up until recently have not been written patterns. Because I did everything off of YouTube. I taught myself how to crochet off of YouTube. So that, I'll put that over there, is that. Um... So it's hard it, watching Fiber Spider for like one or two parts. That and he's got a really soothing voice, and he's meticulous with going over pattern. He he will not lead you astray. My very first shawl that I did was the Granny Meads Virus, um, and I think it was either three videos or four videos. I think it was I can't remember, but they were like an hour long or something like that. I watched those repeatedly, all the way through, a bunch of times to finish my shawl that was massively huge because that's how I was teaching myself um and that I think that is all I'm going to show you right now I've got a couple more items actually you know what it's only 20 minutes 
I'll show you these. No, because I want to show you my bear. My bear is the, is the bee's knees. Um, and he's for football, so I got to show you that for him. And there's, I have some other issues with things. But I will um, come back on and do a shorter video showing you the rest of my makes. I'm going to go check on my son's schooling and see what's going on with that. Because um, I'm doing this all, it's all the same clothes, scenery, because I'm trying to film as much as I can in one go <laughs> in case anything else happens. <laughs> um, anyway, as always, guys, please stay safe, stay healthy, stay crafty, um, and take care. I love you all. Bye.